All right, so this is probably going to surprise a lot of you guys, but it turns out, according to the Democrats, there is no power that is to be wielded by the President of the United States or the uh, Senate Majority Leader in the Senate or the Speaker of the House uh, in the House of Representatives. Apparently, the only person who actually wields any power within the American political system is the Senate Parliamentarian. At least that's what Democrats would have you believe, uh, because even though Democrats do control the House, the Senate, and the Presidency, um, they are somehow powerless to pass some of the basic aspects of this $3.5 trillion bill uh, that they're getting ready to pass within the next week or two. So uh, here from CNBC, Democrats cannot grant legal status to millions of immigrants as part of the budget bill, Senate parliamentarian rules. And important key word here, rules, uh, is completely inaccurate because the Senate parliamentarian actually does not have any power whatsoever in any way, shape, or form. And I'm going to explain that in a second, but let's just go ahead and read some of the details here. So Democrats cannot provide a path to citizenship for about 8 million undocumented immigrants as part of their sprawling budget bill, a Senate official ruled late Sunday. The party hoped that the immigration changes would cover dreamers brought to the U.S. as children, people affected by conflicts or natural disasters in their home countries, farm workers, and other essential workers. In the decision from Senate parliamentarian Elizabeth McDonough uh, deals a setback to reform advocates who have long pushed for Congress to grant legal status to millions of undocumented immigrants who live and work in the U.S., and Senate Majority, uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said he is deeply, deeply disappointed uh, by the ruling. So let's go ahead and hear his actual full statement because I want to know uh, where he's actually coming from and what his excuse is here. So Schumer, deeply disappointed by the parliamentarian's decision, vows to continue the fight and will pursue alternate, alternate proposals in budget reconciliation. So Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer released the following statement today regarding the Senate parliamentarian's decision. Quote, we are deeply disappointed in this decision, but the fight to provide lawful status for immigrants in budget reconciliation continues. Senate Democrats have prepared alternate proposals and will be holding additional meetings with the Senate parliamentarian in the coming days. So listen, this is complete nonsense. Why? Because again, the Senate parliamentarian does not have any power. Why would you be meeting with the Senate parliamentarian to discuss alternate routes to get this passed when you could simply ignore the Senate parliamentarian? That's exactly what Republicans have done in history. You have basically three options. You can ignore them. Kamala Harris, as the uh, head of the Senate, as a vice president, uh, can overrule the Senate parliamentarian, or you can do what Republicans did years ago and just simply fire the Senate parliamentarian. So here's what Republicans did. So key Senate official, this is from 2001, key Senate official loses job in dispute with the GOP. Interesting. Senate parliamentarian Robert Dove, the official responsible for enforcing the chamber's rules and procedures, has been asked to leave his post after a dispute with Republican leadership, Senate sources said yesterday. Dove angered Republicans, especially Majority Leader Trent Lott, with at least two recent rulings that effectively made it harder for the GOP to push President Bush's uh, budget and tax cut proposals through the evenly divided body. So, Basically, the exact same situation that we have now, except you have Republicans who are in control of the Senate and in control of the presidency. And what do they do when the Senate parliamentarian wags their finger and says, you can't pass these tax cuts, uh, that's not pertinent to the budget? What do they do? They fire the Senate parliamentarian and they shove through these tax cuts for the wealthy and the rich, regardless of what the Senate parliamentarian had to say. So in other words, basically what the Democrats are telling us right now by abiding by the Senate parliamentarian's ruling or ruling, basically advice, what they're saying is Republicans, when they are in power, can bull rush straight through the Senate parliamentarian without blinking an eye to pass tax cuts for the wealthy. But when Democrats are in power, they are essentially actually powerless to the Senate parliamentarian and the Senate parliamentarian gets to decide everything. That's the message that they are sending. They're saying this unelected bureaucrat who has absolutely no power whatsoever uh, has the ability or we're giving them the ability to completely undercut the entire agenda that we promised and that we ran on uh, to get us into the position that we are right now as elected officials. So that's the message that Democrats are choosing to send leading into 2022. I mean, just absolutely pathetic and ridiculous. But um, obviously, there are strategies that are in place that they can be deploying in order to remedy the situation. Uh, not from what Chuck Schumer was saying, there obviously doesn't seem like they're going to be firing the Senate parliamentarian if they're going to be continuing to meet with the Senate parliamentarian. Um, and we've seen this play out before. Kamala Harris could deliver $15 minimum wage if Democrats really wanted it. Democrats have a choice between respecting arcane Senate guidelines and raising nearly a million people out of poverty. And what did they choose to do? They chose to keep those people in poverty and they chose 
to respect the arcane senate guidelines and so are they going to be doing this again I would anticipate that they are because they are basically telling you guys that they are even by even reporting on or taking the Senate parliamentarians advice seriously in any way, shape or form. So listen, the underlying dynamic of what is actually going on here is Democrats are using the Senate parliamentarian as a scapegoat uh, to not pass policies that they don't actually care about passing. That is very obvious. If Chuck Schumer or the leadership of the Democratic Party, whether it's Joe Biden or uh, Kamala Harris or Nancy Pelosi or Chuck Schumer, any of these motherfuckers, if they actually wanted to pass the policies that they say that they want to pass, like for in this example, uh, protection for dreamers, then they could do it. All it would take is simply ignoring or firing or uh, overruling the Senate parliamentarian, who again, has absolutely no legitimate power. It's purely an advisory role, okay? So that's the situation that we have right now. Don't let Democrats pretend or the media pretend as if this person has any power. They aren't making rulings. They are giving advisory opinions and Democrats are choosing to let their agenda die uh, at the behest of this unelected bureaucrat.